We're gonna be trying it out and we will see. Uh, RIP to my insoles. <laughs> What is going on guys? We are back with another YouTube video. Yeah! Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Okay, so basically for today's video, you guys really, really, really liked the last video, the testing TikTok trend. So for today, we're gonna be doing more TikTok trends. We're gonna test them, see if they work, see if they don't work. This is coming from a fellow TikToker himself, but... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna try it and it's not gonna be the regular ones that you always see It's gonna be new I'd like did some digging and make sure I could find like some newer stuff You've never really seen before before we get into this video. I want you guys to like Comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post because I do post a lot Also while we're at it follow my Instagram I just posted this super cool picture and you definitely missed out if you didn't see it on my Instagram anyway now Let's get into the video. Let's go Okay, so for this first TikTok life hack, this is actually to make your shoes bigger. Like if they're too small, they're snug or whatever, maybe you got like wide feet or whatever, this will help you guys out. So I'm gonna roll the clip right now. Is your foot too fat and your shoe too skinny? Grab a cup, shove the cup in there, get boiling water, pour that boiling water in there, let it sit in the hook, 10 to 15 minutes. And yeah, so I'm like, pretty i don't know about this one this one could be bad the glass could break the water could spill i don't really know so i'm gonna do it on my my air forces and not test it on like a higher dollar shoe we're about to see these are still pretty clean like i've worn them a few times but like we're about to find out and they do actually fit me a little snug i got them a little bit small so they wouldn't really crease in the toe box so just putting that out there we're gonna actually see if these feel any different after this all right so i'm gonna start by tying i guess Yes, tying it up. I'm gonna shove this cup in there. Okay, now, okay, it's the cups in there. I don't know, the cup's fogging up. Okay, this is whatever. We got our water right here. We're gonna put it in the microwave. I'll be back in just a sec. Bing bong. Water is piping hot, you couldn't tell. We're about to put it in here and hopefully not burn ourselves or crack the glass. This is terrifying. All right. So I don't really have anything to like hang it on. This thing is piping hot. I don't really have anything to hang it on. So I think I'm gonna like just set it up against the wall or something, but it's supposed to wait like 10 or 15 minutes. We're gonna see. This is what it looks like right now. The water looks dark, but that's just because like the inside of the shoe's dark. All right, so we're gonna let that marinate for a little bit. I can still see it smoking and steaming. But in the meantime, while we're waiting on that, we're gonna try another hack. And this one involves this thing right here. Roll it. Sneaker life hack. No creases. Take up cardboard. Step to a measure. Final step to enjoy. So basically for this hack right here, we're gonna be cutting this and seeing if it actually works. Like I've seen this on YouTube, TikTok, everything, and I, I've never actually tried it. So we're gonna see if it actually works, if it's comfortable, if it's uncomfortable, if it only works for a few minutes, or if it actually, I don't know, we're gonna find out and we're gonna test it and we're gonna see, is this factor cap? I don't even know where I should be cutting this, to be honest. I'm gonna just start like, all right, I think, I think we got it, hopefully. Here's our little crease protector. Okay, and just for comparison, this is what a normal crease protector looks like, and here's Bro. ours. So, not looking that promising, but we're gonna try it. All right, so for those of you who don't know, I'm just gonna give it a quick rundown. A crease protector goes in your shoe like this, it goes over your toe, and when you walk, it doesn't crease your sneakers. So, for anybody who doesn't know, if you don't like creases, you could try this out maybe. I am going to stick this Stick it in there and uh, you make sure it's pressed all the way in there. Now I'm gonna put it on. I mean, first thoughts, like comfort wise, it's not that bad. Like you can obviously tell it's there, but it's not that bad. But we're not worried about the comfortability. We're looking about if it actually works, if it doesn't crease. Them. All right, so here we go. I can feel it kind of sliding back. Like it's starting to slide back more. So that's annoying. And this one right here, I have the cardboard crease protector. And in this one, I have none. So we're gonna see, does it actually work? Three, two, one. I mean, it, it, look, like. 
To be honest, it works. I'm not gonna lie. Like here's no crease protector. And then here is with the cardboard insert. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna give this one a pass. This one actually, like it works. Like it, it's in there right now. You guys can't really see all my sock lens in there, but it's in there right now. Like it's in there. I mean, you still get the little crease, but like, honestly, it works. Like I'm, I'm pressing bro. Like I'm really, really pressing. Now, if we try it with the other one, this one has no crease protector in it. None at all. Word. You're gonna get that monster like ripple crease. But on these, like I'm, <laughs> they don't crease. I don't know how long they'll last. Maybe they'll probably last like one day, to be honest. Like if your feet like sweat, it might like fall apart. Low key for a day, like if you need to get by, like just for the day or whatever, like this actually works. I'm very surprised. Like I was fully expecting it to not work or it for only for it to hold up for like two minutes and then just be back to normal. So yeah, this one's a pass. Now it is time to try the Air Forces on that have been marinating with the cup of hot water in there. And I only put it in one. So we're about to see, we're about to do a comparison between both of them. And I'm gonna keep it 100% real because I could lie to you. I could put the shoe on and lie to you guys and be like, oh my God. I'm, I'm, bro, I'm keeping it real for you guys. I'm keeping it 100% real. I'm gonna tell you, does it work, does it not? So I'm gonna get these shoes that have been marinating and <laughs> let's go. Here is the Air Force. It is still steaming. I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming off of that. It's piping hot. The shoe itself is hot. Like up here is like piping hot. So hopefully I don't like burn my foot when putting these on. I'm gonna empty the water out right now. The water's still in there. All right, so I took the, uh, I took the cup out off camera, but I'm gonna keep them laced exactly how they were and exactly how the other one is to really determine, not unlace them, make it a little bit looser. I did burn my finger like four times trying to empty it out. So use gloves or something, I don't know. Parental supervision, here we go. Dude, these things are hot, bro. They're hot and clammy. Backed it up a little bit for you. I'm gonna put on the regular one first to see if there's like a noticeable difference. I'm trying to do this on camera. Okay, so this is regular. This is the one that we didn't touch. Now. Now we're about to put on the pair that has been like steaming and like cooking in here. Here we go. First reaction, no BS. I mean, I feel it like a very, very slight difference. This is the one right here that has been like steaming. This is the one that hasn't been touched. And honestly, honestly, it's like not like a noticeable difference. Like. It does feel a little bit looser, but like at the same time, it's not really like, it's not gonna like make them fit really any different. I personally would say that this one is a fail just because there's no real difference. The cup was like big. Like I had to like really push it. I had to like really push it in there and like it, it didn't like just slide right in. Like, <laughs> it, it, what I'm trying to say is it like, it was actually doing something when I was like putting the, the cup in. Like it didn't just like slide in or it wasn't loose or whatever. Like it was really like stretching the shoe out and nothing happened. So that one is a fail. That one's cap, ladies and gentlemen. For this next one, I'm gonna just let you guys view it and then go from there. Dropping Jen. You already know how to restore your shoes. Easy You've been way. cleaning your shoes you wrong your whole life. Throw these in the microwave real quick. Close that joint. Put it on there for one minute. Just watch. And then you wait. You know, you gotta be patient. This takes time. If you ain't know, I'm putting y'all on. This is the real way to clean your sneakers. We almost done. Look at them. Do it with your results. I put y'all on to something new, you know? Now you know. This is how you clean your shoes. Okay, so this next one involves a microwave and we're gonna try it out. All right, so these are pretty dirty and we're about to see, will the microwave clean them? All right, brought it over to the microwave. Here we go. We're gonna be trying it out and we will see. Does the microwave clean your shoes? <laughs> I'm just playing. Don't put your shoes in the microwave. Don't believe everything you see on TikTok. <laughs> Actually, for this next one, we're gonna be trying this one out. Um, I've seen this everywhere, all over TikTok. So 
Roll it. You guys love this one, so I'm trying it again. Today I'm using my waterproofing spray to protect my new sneakers. I sprayed outside because the scent is strong and let it dry for a few. Then I spilled Diet Coke on my brand new sneakers. It killed me a little to even waste a drop of my favorite beverage, but so worth it when it dripped water on them and the soda slid right off. Still as good as new. For this one, we're gonna be trying to see if this like sneaker repellent spray actually works. Like you see this like all over TikTok and I don't know, does it actually work? Does it not? I have some, so we're gonna try it. Once again, no promo, no nothing. I'm not like, this is 100% factor cap, yes or no, does this work? All right, so we have our spray here. Um, a bunch of different companies make this. Creprotec, Rejuvenator, literally anybody makes this spray right here. It's a sneaker repellent spray, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna be trying it on Air Forces again just to see if it works. And I know some of you might be like, Yo, Chance, why don't you try it on like a hype shoe or like an expensive shoe? Why don't you? You try it on there. I don't know. Like I, if it doesn't work, I'm going to be out like a band if I do it on like some hype like Chicago's or something like. All right. So I got the shoe. I got the spray and we're about to put it on. Uh, and usually for these tests, they don't really get it on the laces because usually the laces are like the what doesn't really come off. Like. For the most part, if the shoes are like, even like Yeezys I've seen it works on or like leather shoes or whatever. For the most part, people don't get it on the laces because they know that like, usually the stuff doesn't come off the laces. So I am purposely am gonna put it on the laces and we're gonna see. So I'm gonna spray it on. It says you spray it on and then wait 10 minutes and then spray it on again and then wait 10 minutes and then it's good. So here we go. I'm gonna do this outside. Okay, so I recommend you do this outside or else you will have a headache because yeah, it's like very potent and it smells really strong and do it outside. All right, so we're done. Um, I ended up leaving the shoes outside because they smelled so strong, like the spray. Yeah, if you're gonna do this, do it outside. Like you can't breathe when you're in here. Whoa. She put Diet Coke on there. I have Mr. Pib, same thing. And we're about to try it. So I got a little towel down. I know you guys can't see. We're gonna try it and then I'm gonna run some water over it and see if it actually works. All right, just open it. Just so you guys know it's not fake. Um, yeah, here we go. We're about to pour some Mr. Pib slash whatever cola on there. And we're about to see if this actually works. Bruh. I mean, look, I even poured it on the laces. I literally poured it on the laces. Like, here we go again, on the laces. Look at that, comes right off. We're gonna shake it, throw some water on it and see. Dude, the water just runs right off. Look at that. It actually works. Not gonna lie, it did stain the laces a little bit, but I might have missed a spot when spraying it. Also, I got Dr. Pepper on my shirt, or Mr. Pip, whatever. But low key, it worked. Like, it, it's dead serious. Like, I don't know, it worked. Look at that. Actually, um, I wasn't even paying attention and it is all, <laughs> I have a shoe filled with <laughs> cola now so uh, i didn't even think about it getting on the inside of the shoe so i mean it still worked but like your socks are gonna be like done if this actually happens to you in real life uh, r.i.p to my insoles <laughs> All right, so I now have a huge mess to clean up. So that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hit the like button if you haven't already. And yeah, follow for more. Maybe I might do another, a part three to the TikTok trends. I don't know, you guys seem to like them, so I might start doing these more often. Yep, that is it. So follow my Instagram. Once again, just posted this dope picture. Go like it. Comment, say you're from YouTube. I'll follow you back. If you guys comment and like on my Instagram picture and you comment that you're from the YouTube channel, I got you with a follow back or a subscribe back on YouTube. Whatever you guys want, I got you. You show love to me, I'll show love back. That's how it works. Anyways, that being said, I love you guys so much and I will see you next time.